Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about derivative at a value. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals 20 over x squared plus 5, and we need to find the derivative of that at x equals 3. Well, one thing I like to do is rewrite this problem, this equation, y equals, and I'm going to write it like this, 20 times our x squared plus 5 to the negative 1 power. And that's really just a preference of mine, because when I take the derivative, I just like using the product rule, uh, for, especially for something like this. So using the product rule, <clears throat> we have, I'll call it f prime of x, is equal to, well, derivative of the first value, the 20, which is a 0, times the second, x squared plus 5 to the negative 1 power, plus 20 times the derivative of the second power, part here, <laughs> not power, which we're going to use the uh, chain rule. Negative 1 comes out front, we have an x squared plus 5 right there, and the negative 1 power becomes a negative 2 by subtracting by 1. Inside, the derivative of the inside, using the chain rule, we can just have a 2x as a derivative here. Well, luckily for us, this simplifies pretty easily. The 0 causes all that to be canceled out, not too bad. And negative 1 and a 2 and a 20 becomes a negative 40. And the numerator, oh, and the x value, negative 40x, all over our x squared plus 5 in the denominator. And don't forget to square it. Okay? Make sure I'm on the right path. And we're good. <laughs> so now, with our derivative here, we can find what happens at x equals 3. So let's find what f prime of 3 is by plugging that in. For x, we have a negative 40 times a 3 over 3 squared plus 5 all squared. This comes out to be, and hopefully you know how to do this stuff here, simplifies to be a negative 30 over a 49. So if we want to write this as a final statement, we would say our dy dx of, whoops, or when x is equal to 3 is equal to negative 30 over 49, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.